Hey, Brian, have you seen the remote? I want to watch the Weather Channel. There are tornadoes in the Midwest, and I like watching poor people scramble to save what little they have. Uh, I don't know where the remote is. All right, I'll find it myself. Oh, my God, my old harmonica! I'm going to play this really loud tonight to get back at our Armenian neighbors. Hey, hey, looks like a fun party. Um, hey, listen, it's two in the morning. Uh, when is your five-year-old going to go to sleep? Soon, very soon. You want weird food wrapped in weird leaves? Yeah, look, I'm guessing there's some kind of soccer match from your home country going on, and I get that, I do, but uh, some of us are trying to sleep. And I could almost deal with the noise, but it's the cologne. All right, I can smell it in my bed, and I live two houses from here. That's how powerful it is, okay? That's how powerful it is. You like it? Yeah, I kind of like it. Okay, so I know you're a harmonica, but right now you're a 40-year-old woman with a good body in a hotel pool. Hey, everybody, look at me. I work out seven days a week for these five minutes. Your attention is going to keep me from swallowing a bottle of pills. Hey, everyone, I made brownies. <gasps> I better hurry up. I'm going to miss the show. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I love Brownie Day. What the hell did I just sit on? What? Where is it? Where's my harmonica? It's not here! Peter, have you seen Stewie's harmonica? It was in the tub. Oh my god, it was in the tub, and now it's in my butt! No! Stewie, Daddy needs your tiny hands for a very special project. Well, good heavens, that's something, isn't it? Oh, by the way, Mr. Griffin, regarding your x-rays, we're making a coffee table book. Can you sign this release, please? Okay, but first, can we address my husband's situation? Well, the harmonica's up there pretty good. Unfortunately, removing it would require a very expensive surgery that's not covered by your TGI Friday's gift card. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. But suddenly it smells like John Popper in here. That was me! I got musical fats! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, this is awesome! I will not allow this opportunity to go to waste. Hey, Lois, how was your day? Terrible. I accidentally backed over a kid in the grocery store parking lot. <laughs> Peter, I'm serious. I ran right over the soft part of the face. I had to run away. I ditched the car and jumped on a passing train. <laughs> I was so scared, I didn't get off until I was in the south. What'd you do today? I pushed a boy behind your car so I could do all this harmonica stuff. All right, Chris. Meg loves to listen to music when she sleeps. Let's see how she likes this. Uh, Dad, I don't think that's how it works. This had nothing to do with the harmonica. Everybody, brace yourselves, because I have got big news. I have been selected to be a contestant on America's Got Talent, and they're going to fly us all to America for the show. What? Oh, my God. Finally, we make it the dreams come true in America. I am going to make this family proud, and not just you guys, but that old painting of my ancestor in the attic. I did it. I'm going to be on TV. Did you kill the others? I shan't. You must. I'm going to go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? This place is a nuthouse. Yo, welcome back to America's Got Talent. Let's welcome our next performer, here to play the harmonica, Peter Griffin. Hi. So, where are you from, Peter? Um, I'm from Quahog, Rhode Island. Woohoo! Quahog! <laughs> That's my family. My wife daytime drinks on vacation. Okay, Peter, let's hear what you've got. <laughs> Oh, he's nailing it. I know, shut up. <laughs> well, there goes my music career. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. 